Awesome. Very cool. Hey guys, uh, this is Jenna from Turnkey. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how you can influence multiple unit purchases on Amazon. So what the heck do I mean by that? Um, so one thing I've seen consistently from sellers uh, that are selling on Amazon is they are not trying to get people to purchase multiple units. And, and by that, I mean, they're not trying to influence it. They're not trying to push it. You know, obviously people will buy multiple units without you influencing it. But the reality is we've seen a lot of success when it comes to trying different strategies um, to get those multi-unit purchases. So I'm going to go ahead, share my screen. Um, one second. Awesome. So like I said, we're going to go over just the, what promotions are working on Amazon and really focus in on those promotions that are going to help you influence those multi-unit purchases. So are you influencing multi-unit purchases? Are you trying different things, different strategies, different promotions to try to get people to buy more than one product from you in a single transaction? If not, you definitely should be. Um, what's great about this is you're able to really influence your sales. You're trying to increase those sales and this is a great way to do it. Uh, one thing I find interesting, you know, and um, you know, here at Turnkey, when we are working with sellers, we're working with a bunch of different sellers. We're working with some very advanced sellers that know, you know, the ins and outs of Amazon. They know about the different promotions. They know everything like that. And then we're also working with newer sellers that maybe aren't as aware with pro about promotions or other things they can be doing. Uh, when it comes to that. So, but one thing that's consistent is I feel like, you know, the more we talk to people and, you know, the more we hear about different strategies, a lot of people are falling into, you know, just using those two main promotion types, which are, you know, the regular promo code that's been around forever, um, just a regular pro promo code, or the new coupon clipping, which gives you that more visit, that extra visibility with that Amazon fee. So I feel like consistently, you know, people are saying, yeah, we're using promo codes, we're using coupon clippings, but I don't hear as much of people using these types of promotions we're gonna go over today. So our thoughts are with these promotions is we're trying to get people to purchase from you multiple units in a single transaction. So keep that in mind as I'm talking through it. I'm going to show you how to do them. We're going to talk about where you'll be setting them up um, and really what we are trying to do when we set those up uh, for our clients and when we're working with our coaching clients. So today I'm going to talk about these promotions right here and, and maybe you've already heard of them, maybe not. Um, but you know, maybe this will kind of make you think of them in a new light and, and try to see that, you know, you're trying to influence people to buy more from you. So we're going to talk about tiered promotions. I'm going to show you where you're going to set those up, what we usually do with those, how we take them to the next level. I'm also going to talk about BOGO and just cross selling in general. How can we influence that? How can we make that better? How can we take it to the next level? And then lastly, I'm going to talk about social media promos. So these are the promotions we're going to be talking about um, that can really help influence those multi-unit purchases. So Let's start with tiered promotions. So um, basically what a tiered promotion is, um, is a promotion that's just a great way to entice customers to buy more than one item by offering a steeper discount when they buy more than one. So my team and I have got, gone ahead and just put together an example here for you. So basically this is how it would go and, and um, just know now uh, everyone is different. So maybe 5% is too small for you or maybe 15% is too big and that's fine. Um, these are just really for example purposes, but you know, buy one, save 5%, buy two, save 10%, buy, buy three, save 15%. So the idea is that every single time the customer adds one more to their cart, they're going to be saving a bigger discount. Um, this can help influence them to buy more from you, uh, which in the end, I mean, that's something that you should always be striving for, right? This is something that helps you build that raving fan. This is how you get people to continue to purchase from you is offering deals like this and really getting them to try your product. So where have we seen this most successful? How do we usually use it? Um, you know, let, let's go ahead and start right there. So um, when it comes to tiered promotions, we really like to do them with products that are repeat purchases. So an example would be coffees, supplements, um, any food items, anything like that. We like to do these. And the reason why is, you know, 
truthfully, it is very common for people to buy two boxes of coffee, right? Or two bottles of, you know, krill oil. It's, it's common. So, um, you know, we like to influence it this way. We try to get people to purchase more from you um, to really help boost sales and get those growth strategies up there. So um, in terms of, you know, how do you push it? How do you bring it to the next level? So as sellers on Amazon, we know where the promotions are. They're at the bottom of the page, kind of not great placement by Amazon, but that's where they've decided that they're going to put them. Um, so they're like right above the reviews in that area. Um, so not the greatest place, right? So one thing we do to take those tiered promotions to the next level is we'll create a basic infographic, nothing too crazy. I'm, I'm sure it's something that majority of you guys can do. And um, basically what the promotion or the, I'm sorry, the infographic, what it'll say is it'll say, you know, buy one, save five, buy two, save 10, buy three, save 15, enter this promo code at checkout. So it's right there. They, there's no excuse. They can see it. Um, and you, they're able to basically make the decision right there. So, um, it's very popular. We're doing it with all of our clients featuring those different promotions in the infographics, um, in the image box. Um, I'm also seeing it a lot just as a seller on Amazon. I'm doing quite a bit of shopping on Amazon right now, obviously, with it being Christmas time. And um, pretty consistent, I'd say, with a lot of people featuring this in the image box. And it just gains you that extra visibility, guys. So 100% would recommend doing it. If you're not sold that that will help push it, um, we always talk split testing. So if you want to run the tiered promotion one week with the image block image and then one week without the image block image and, and see which one works the best for you. Um, but truthfully, I think this is worth a shot. And, and one thing I will always say is every single product, every single category, you know, different things are going to work and different things aren't going to work. You know, we work with a wide range of clients selling across a bunch of different categories, different niches, everything like that. Everyone's incredibly different. Um, and not one thing is going to work for everybody. So try out the tiered promotion, see if they work for you, see if they get people purchasing more units from you in one transaction and see if that increases your sales. It's definitely worth a shot. We've seen a lot of success with it. Um, and it's really easy to set up. So where are you going to set that up? What you're going to do is you're going to go to your regular promotions um, underneath advertising there um, in Seller Central. You're going to go ahead, click on percentage off. Um, and what it's going to do is it's going to show you step one conditions right here. So I just took a screenshot really quick of what the section looks like. Um, so you'll go ahead, fill out the top sections, but then it says advanced options. And right underneath that, so all you'll have to do is click advanced options right here. Um, and right underneath that, it'll say buyer purchases. So what you'll do is you'll build your first tier, which we usually do one, but you can do different ones if you want. So at least one item purchased and get this percentage off. And then, so let's say you want to add another tier, second tier, you just press add tier. It'll give you this option, the same exact field. Again, you put buy two, get this percentage off and so on. And, and what's cool also is you can create different product selections. So, um, you know, let's say, you know, you don't want to include your brand new product you feel like it's going to sell it on its own. You don't need to be doing things like this. That's fine. You can go ahead and just create a new product selection and go ahead and get rid of that. So this is where you guys do it. It's going to be promotions, percentage off. It's super easy to make. Um, you know, what we always say is every single time you create a promotion, check it. Um, I don't trust that Amazon's going to automatically do everything. You know, sometimes there are errors in their systems, right? So Every single time our team makes a promotion, we add three items to the cart and see if we do get 15% off, right? You're just double checking Amazon, making sure everything's set up because you don't want to get feedback from customers saying their promotion didn't work when that's not really on you, right? Or maybe you didn't set it up right. So it's just making sure that you're testing Amazon, making sure that it's all working. So moving on, let's go ahead, talk BOGO and cross-selling. So this is my favorite part about selling on Amazon. I love doing BOGOs. I love cross-selling. I love getting people to purchase multiple things from a single brand. I think it's incredible. That's how you build your, that's how you build your repeat customers, right? So um, essentially what we're trying to do with a buy one, get one promotion is we're trying to entice customers to buy one product and get a certain percentage off another. So we feel that the products that work best with this promotion are products that aren't necessarily repeat. So um, one example I like to use, so let's say you are a yoga company and you are selling yoga products. Um, what you can be doing is buy one yoga mat, get 15% off our yoga block. So you're obviously getting the purchase of the yoga mat full price, 
Um, but then you're also influencing them to purchase your yoga block, which maybe they would not have even known about if you didn't have this promotion running. So it's a different way to obviously get fans. If you get them purchasing more from you, they're going to get, they're going to fall in love with you, right? That's the plan. They're going to follow you on Instagram. They're going to follow you on Facebook. They're going to be a huge fan. They're going to tell all their friends. They're all going to buy your products. That's the end goal, right? So this is a really cool way to do it. Um, we really like doing it, like I said. Um, and another great way to talk about it is, you know, maybe they didn't know about that yoga block, right? Maybe they didn't plan on buying a yoga block, but since it comes with a percentage off because you bought the mat, I'm going to do it. Why not? I'm not going to get that 15% off another time. I'm going to do it. So it also just gains visibility for those products that maybe they didn't even know they were looking for, right? So one other cool thing about the buy one, get one promotion is you are able to influence that frequently bought together badge that is on majority of Amazon listings. So where you usually see frequently bought together is below the listing. Um, it looks just like this right over here to the side. Um, and what's really cool about frequently bought together is it'll do this little quick, you know, um, uh, you know, thing right here where they feature the two products. Um, and then what's cool is a customer is able to easily just press add both to cart. Um, so that way there's no question. It's super simple. You don't have to go to two listings, boom, add both to cart. So what's awesome is if you create this buy one, get one promotion, and if you're able to influence enough people to purchase those two products back to, together over and over again, you're able to get this frequently bought together badge, which is really cool. So obviously there's no magic number. How do I get, how do, how many buy one, get ones do I need? Unfortunately, there's no way to, to really see that. Um, you know, you just have to keep running it and the, the plan is you'll eventually get frequently bought together. So what's really cool about frequently bought together is obviously, you know, it's easy add both to cart, but also you're getting visibility on another product that's not on that listing, right? So just another great place to feature different products, um, different, you know, get them to add both to cart. Another thing to consider is if you're not filling this spot with, you know, if you're not filling this spot, if you're not doing things to try to fill this spot, a competitor is going to fill that spot. You know, Amazon is going to create this frequently bought together and it's really up to you to see if you can try to get all of your products on frequently bought together. Um, because I mean, if you guys think about it, if a, a competitor is featured there and it's not, it's your product and their product in a way you're giving them free advertising, right? You're giving them a free place to be seen. Um, and also probably purchases, right? If they're pressing both add to cart and it's your product and their product, um, you know, they're, they're buying your product, obviously, which is great, but they're also buying your competitors when they could have potentially bought your product and that other product, right? That's yours. So again, trying to get this, obviously there's no guarantees when it comes to Amazon, right? Um, but we've seen running these bio and get ones can get you here. You just have to keep pushing it, keep trying it and seeing if it'll stick. Um, so in terms of if you should keep running that buy one, get one, once you get frequently bought together, I would off and on, um, you know, you don't have to run it forever. This isn't like, you know, something that has to be there forever or else you'll use, lose frequently bought together because the idea is frequently bought together should replace your buy one, get one with no percentage off. Right. I would just run it every once in a while, just to make sure you're maintaining that people are buying those two products together. So, um, where do you, create a buy one, get one promotion. Pretty simple. Again, you'll go to advertising promotions, and then there's a buy one, get one option. They're incredibly simple to put together. Highly recommend. And again, I would feature them in the image blocks. See if that helps with visibility. Um, so just another tip and, you know, something that my team and I were discussing when we, when we talk about cross selling is make sure you're including additional products that you offer in your enhanced brand content. So enhanced brand content, they've really been making updates. Um, Amazon's doing a great job making that something that sellers can really personalize and put their stamp on with it, which is really cool. Um, so one thing I definitely want you guys to be thinking about is those, that new block where basically you can list out your different ASINs, your different products there, um, and feature them on your other listings. So that way people know about it. They're able to see it. They're able to click on it and get to that listing and potentially purchase the product. So again, highly recommend buy one, get one and trying to cross sell with that. Last promotion I want to talk about is the social media promo code, um, promotion. So super cool. Um, I love this. Um, it's pairing up with Amazon influencers. 
I don't know about you guys, Amazon influencers follows me all around the internet. I get Instagram ads for them all the time, Facebook ads for them all the time. Um, they're really pushing people to join this program, which is from my understanding, a little different than the affiliate program. So essentially what social media promos allow you to do is build a landing page with a custom promotional code um, that is only visible on the landing page. So it's not going to be on your product detail page. It's only for these people that you have sent this landing page to. So I'm not sure how comfortable you guys are with building landing pages. It's not my strong suit. We actually have, you know, a, a few people on our team that are just all stars at it. So, you know, I, I let them do their all star things with landing pages. Um, but what's really cool is Amazon's going to build this landing page for you. So you don't have to stress about creating a ClickFunnels account and putting things together. Amazon's going to just do this for you. Um, so it's really convenient because um, as opposed to a promo, a regular promo code or a coupon clipping, um, this promotion is added directly to the person's cart um, or the, sorry, the customer's cart. So they don't have to clip a coupon clipping. They don't have to copy and paste a promo code. It's simple. It's right there. They already have it. Um, you know, you're able with this promotion, it's just like any other promotion. You're able to control, you know, how many they can buy, what the percentage off is. You have full control over it. You can shut it down at any time. Um, it's pretty awesome though. Um, so just so you know, from our understanding, sellers do have to be brand registered to take advantage of social media promo codes. Um, so again, we always say get brand registered guys, but this is just another, you know, Hey, get brand registered moment. Um, so what's really cool. Like I said, social media promo, um, has, get, has teamed up with, um, Amazon influencers. So basically Amazon influencers get notifications or get messages from Amazon saying, Hey, um, so-and-so is having a social media promo and what they can do is they can share it to their blog. They can share it to their Facebook, their Instagram, whatever. Um, I actually did read one um, story, which I guess really isn't funny, but um, this guy created a social media promo, um, an influencer that he had never met before, put it on their thing because it was a product that that person loved, sold out of inventory, like completely wiped him out of inventory. He had no idea. So just something to be aware of, guys. Make sure you're keeping a track of these things because you never know if the right influencer gets a hold of it. Who knows, right? So... Um, you know, our tip is definitely share these promotions with customers through social media, emails, and if you have influencers, share it with them as well. Um, one thing I do want to mention that is pretty cool about these is they will not hurt your conversion rate. So I definitely talk to sellers who are a little hesitant sometimes in sending people to Amazon from, from like Facebook or from Instagram because they don't want to hurt their conversion rate. You know, what if people just go here? And they're just looking to see what the deal is and then they leave, you know, and they don't buy, you know, that looks bad on us. Well, what's cool about this is it takes you to the, it takes them to the landing page. So it's not going to take them to your listing and make it so your conversion rate hurts. Um, so this is a great way around that. So if that is something you're nervous about or something you've been hesitant to include, um, something to keep in mind. So, um, but yeah, so these are social media promo codes, pretty simple to make. Again, um, you just go to advertising promotions and this is one of the options there. So, um, you know, just some final tips from turnkey as we head into the new year here. So, you know, get involved with influencers. I know it sounds intimidating. I know, um, you know, for some people it's just not on their radar and that's okay, but try your best to get involved with influencers because they can really make a difference in your business, especially pairing up these promotions with them you know, it can really make a difference. So just a different growth strategy I wanted to remind you guys about is getting involved with those influencers. Start stacking those tiered promotions. Start trying out different things. Should I do buy two, get 20%, buy three, get 30%. Try out different things and see if that helps influence your sales. Um, also want to re remind you guys, cross sell. Show your different products in the image blocks show them in the enhanced brand content and run promotions that help influence that cross selling. Um, and then lastly, not something I talked about in the promotion, but it does, you know, factor in when we're talking about trying to get people to buy from you more than once, make sure your products are enrolled in subscribe and save. Um, it's a pretty simple process. Um, if you guys need help with it, just reach out to my team and I, and we'll give you a hand. Um, pretty simple though, just, you know, enrolling your products, subscribe and save. If your product is eligible, Amazon will say you're good to go. Um, and it's pretty easy from there. So, but other than that, that's, that's all I have for you guys, um, with these promotion and just final tips.